Hi everybody. Welcome. It's 8 p.m. Monday night, so it's time for Stamping with Denise. Welcome. So glad you could join me. Um, let me get a second here. Let me get this pulled up on my computer and shared. And we will get started. Tonight I am working with a new setup and some new software. And I'm hoping it all goes well. See y'all, this is my first broadcast, my first live with this. There we go. Okay. There's always about a 30 second lag. So let me get this shared. And... Be ready to go. Okay, good. So, did everybody have a nice holiday? Nice Christmas? I did. I did work, but that was the last day I worked. I am off now until the 4th of January, so I'm looking forward to that. So, if you're just joining me, welcome. I have a fun card to show you tonight, some new product from the new catalog. We're going to use some celebration product. We're going to use some something new from the new mini catalog that I think you're really going to like. And if you like what you see, please share, comment below, and you'll get a call chance to win the card that I make tonight. So. And hi, Paula. It's funny you logged on just now because this is the card we made. I made last week using product from Celebration. And Paula, you were the winner. So I will be getting that out in the mail to you. Okay? So welcome. And um, I will set that aside so I don't forget. Because sometimes, you know, the craft space gets a little bit crazy. So, okay, like I said, I've got some new software so I don't... I shouldn't have to move the camera. I just have to push a button and it'll go to my other view. So let's see how this works. I have a fun fold for you tonight and I'm hoping you like it. So here we go. Yeah, look at that. Isn't that easy? I'm going to put my laptop out of the way here. I was using that. So this is pretty slick. This is working. Okay, so I have this fun Z fold card that I'm going to show you how to do. I had not done one before. It's not terribly difficult. And then we're going to finish it off just a little bit differently than I have this finished. It's got, this has Wink Estelle on it. I don't know if you can see the um, glitter on it or not, but let me tell you, when I finish with the card I'm going to make, after I show you how to do the fun fold, you'll see the glitter. I promise. Okay. So let me set that over here. You do need your stamp and trimmer. And let me pull the arm out here. Okay, hope everyone had a good holiday. I did. I ended, how many Christmas cards did you all end up sending out? I sent out about 150. <sighs> and I was working on them till pretty close to the end. Okay, to make this card, we're going to start out with a piece of cardstock that is five and a quarter by 12. So this is a, you know, would be cut from a 12 by 12 sheet of cardstock. I was going to play with the numbers using an 11 inch piece of cardstock, and I just wasn't into the math the other day, so. Um, Anyway, maybe that's for another day to work on that. So, after you cut that, it'll be, again, 12 by 5 and a quarter. You're going to score at 4 inches, right there. And you're going to score at 8 inches, which is right down here. Okay, put this out of the way for a second. Then, you're going to grab your pencil and your ruler, and you are going to start at, uh, down on, on what is going to be the right side, you're going to measure down three inches. 
so let me let me get my ruler here. Okay, so one, two, three, and just put a tiny mark on it right there. Now you're going to take your ruler, and this is the score line. The this score line right here. You're going to line that up. Draw a line right to that. tick mark you made and you're going to draw a line let me get this you know I'm going to use this other end, edge of my ruler here let's see here I don't know I'm having some internet connectivity issues so hopefully it's working I think my kid didn't get off the internet in time I'm going to have to start making him get off earlier that's kind of the thing when I go live he has to be off okay so I've, that's going to be our, let's see, it's going to be the um, slope, for lack of a better word. Okay, then you're going to put that in your uh, cutter, in your trimmer, and you're going to put, so I'm trying to get this, let me see if this light, maybe I need to turn this light off. Uh, it didn't cut down the glare too much. Let me see here. Does that help? Oh, that helped a little bit. Okay, now you can see my line. It starts right here and goes here. So you're going to put that right in your cutting, right in the in the groove where the tr cutter goes. You're going to put that in there. You're going to cut that right there. Okay. And you don't need that. And now you have your base cut that's as simple as it is so you're going to fold that back sometimes that trimmer gives a bit of a edge so i have to flatten that down with my finger now where's my bone folder where to go i had it i had it where to go oh here it is right in front of me so i am sure hoping that and then you're going to fold this back like this and again i like to that cut edge i like to kind of Take my fingernail and run over it. Whoops, let me trim that. I got just a little piece right there that's not quite cut. There. Then I like to you know, burnish it down, but like I said, sometimes the trimmer gives it a little bit of an edge. I just like to take my nail and go over it like that. So there we are, there's the base. All ready to go. There we are, good, okay. So now, your first piece of designer series paper is going to be it's this one. It is going to be three and three quarters, which is the measurement across, and it's going to be three and a half inches tall, okay? And I already drew my line, but I was, you're going to measure one and a half inches down the side. Make your mark, just like I did on the other one. Connect your lines and trim it. So we're gonna trim that. And if you get it, if you don't cut it exactly and there's still a little bit of the pencil line, you know, hopefully you made it light enough you can erase it. So that's going to go right on there like that. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and put that on there. Where is my stamp and seal? Okay. Did you get everything you wanted for Christmas? I did. I had a nice Christmas. My poor son in Los Angeles, I mailed him a package on the 14th. Was it the 14th? Yeah, it went in the mail on the 14th. He hasn't gotten it yet. It didn't even leave Detroit, which is an hour from me. It didn't even leave until Christmas Eve. So, it's been a real issue with the Detroit area postal silver service. So, But things are moving again, so that's okay. He's a big boy. Now your second piece of designer series paper is going to be three and three quarters by five. 
Then down this right side, you're going to measure one and three eighths of an inch right there. Make your mark. Connect this corner up here. Draw your line, and there you go. Then you're going to trim that. Okay, I'm all done with the ruler. Put that away. Like I said, I have a lot of stuff in my space, so I'm trying to clean it as I go. And you're going to do just like you did the last time. You're going to put the center of the line that you drew right in the groove where the blade goes. And I hit that right on target. Beautiful. I don't even have to erase my line. On the first one I made, I had to erase my line a couple of places, but this one I didn't. And you can see it's going to go right there, like that. The other thing you could do, just, you know, if you use the reverse of the paper, you could do it like that. I don't know. I just like this side an awful lot. So, again, I'm going to use the stamp and seal. Put that on there. And stick around because I'm going to show you a fun product from the new catalog that I think you're going to like. Okay, so there's the second one. We're almost there. And now your third piece of designer series paper is three and three quarters by two. And it's going to go right up here. Let me see. So you can kind of look to see. I'm going to... I'm going to use that, so that little bit of that, um, which color is that? That is the petal pink, so that it shows a little bit. So. Okay, very good. The thing my software is working pretty good. I like that I didn't have to... Um, you know, move the camera around and all that stuff. Now, I can't, because I don't have my laptop open, I can't see your comments, but you know what? I get very distracted by them, so it's not that I don't appreciate them, but I want to focus on what I'm doing right here. Okay, so I'm going to put the sentiment on the inside. And let me show you. I picked this, this stamp set from the new catalog. It's called Happy Thoughts. And it's nothing but a sentiment set, and I really, really like it because, especially for the people that maybe don't, you know, do have a lot of other supplies at home, it's always good to have one good kind of generic stamp set with sentiments for all sorts of um, of different cards. So. Happy birthday, thanking you, thank you, congratulations. Just wanted to send some happy thoughts. The little things you do so well and so often make a big difference to so many people. Today is great because of all you, it's all about you, the great person you are, the great things you do. So I decided I'm going to put, just wanted to send some happy thoughts your way on the inside of the card, okay? Then we're going to get working on the outside. Okay. This is Knight of Navy. It's nice and juicy. Make sure here I can get this. Move it where you can see it. Let's let it set for a second. And there we go. That's good. Let me set this off to the side. Okay, and we're all done with that one. Now, everything else we're going to do is doing our little bit of embellishment on the front. I want to make sure that dries completely because that's a. I just re inked that ink pad not too long ago. So, you can see on this one, I have a little piece of this linen ribbon. And this is the seaside spray. So I cut this is about a four piece inch of ribbon, four inch piece of ribbon. Gosh, that wasn't very good. And I put it right here. Okay. 
I'm going to go ahead and put that on now and then it'll be done. I use, I always like to attach the ribbon with glue dots. I think it holds really well that way. Most ribbon does. There are probably some exceptions, but for the most part, and this is a pretty sturdy ribbon, so I'm just going to put it right there and it's good to go. Okay. Oh, let me put that away. Okay, so now we're going to work on the flower. Um, you probably recognize this. This uses both of the daisy punches. We have the medium daisy and we have the daisy punch. So for this, I'm going to go ahead and cut out the two large blue Knight of Navy daisies. Sometimes, sometimes it's easier to just put them down. Okay, and I'm all done with that punch. And I'm gonna go ahead and glue these two pieces together. I'm just, I'm gonna use some Tombow because it, it's really good for making it stick. And then what you do is kind of, I'll do it over the white, is kind of make them you know, off. So, you know, they're not perfectly lined up. They're just, uh, there's a word I'm looking for and I'm not coming up with it right now. Okay. Here we are. Okay, I'll let that dry for just a second. Now, on this card, I put, on this petal pink, I would put some Winkastella. But you know what? We've got a new product in the catalog, and I was going to show it to you, and I think it'll kind of step up this flower a little bit, okay? So we're going to try that. Oh, while I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and punch out. This is our retired half-inch circle punch. This is Rococo Rose. I'm going to cut out a circle for that, and then that'll be done there. Okay. Mm -hmm. See, yeah, I used Wink Estella, which is great but I think you're gonna like. So in our new catalog, we have this gilded leafing. It's like weighs nothing. Let me open it up here. It's There's probably gonna be a glare because it's really bright. You can see it's this leafy stuff, this flaky stuff. It's very thin, it's very soft, and it makes a great, does a great job of um, adding gold accents. Okay. And it gets all everywhere, so you have to be careful. So, first thing I'm going to show you with it, and I'm not using this on my card, but I'm just going to show you a way that you can use it, is here I used a piece of tear and tape. And I put it down. Just cut a piece off. I'll show you. This would be a great way to make a border or something for your, for a card. So just put that down there like that. I just burnish it down real well and take the cover off of the tape. Now, you know, um, they recommend putting some of the, these flakes, I don't know, flakes, is that a good word for it? Gold leafing or gilded leafing, yeah, into a plastic container. So I picked up this container I had laying around and I put some of it in here because you know what you're not going to get it back in the jar there's not any way just watch so anyway I'm going to put this in here I'm going to make sure it gets all covered with the gold leafing knock it off see that then you're going to take a sponge and just it was so funny we had an event an online event in November with Shelly, one of the co-founders, and Sarah, the CEO, who's her daughter, and they were playing with this stuff, and it was all over the place. It was so funny, but look at that, how easy that is. And also, the sponge will never be anything but your gold, gold, your gilding sponge. So, anyway, so that's one way you can use this. But I'm gonna, we're gonna use it another way, 
on our project. Okay, so let me set this out off to the side right now. And um, so what we're gonna do, out of the, where is it at? The Daisy Lane set, the smaller Daisy. I have the stamp. I'm gonna stamp that with Versamark. Well, let me show you. Here's I did one. I'm gonna show you what it looks like. Can you see how that that uh, gilding on there? How that just is shiny. So that's what this is gonna look like, and I'm gonna show you. It's it's a couple step stamping, or but uh, you'll get it. So what we're gonna do? I'm gonna this. We're gonna use Versamark. If you're not familiar, Versamark is pretty much just clear ink. Okay. I'm going to do two of those. Let me see, where's that one at? There we go. Okay. Then we're going to take heat and stick powder, which Stamp Stampin' Up! had before, and they retired it, and now they brought it back. So now you take, this looks like embossing powder, but it's not. It's heat and stick. I really had not used this much. I've had it before, but never really used it, so. Okay, so now I've got it on there. Looks a little bit like embossing powder, but it's heat and stick. You take your heat gun and you heat it up a bit, okay? There we go. Now, you're going to put it in your, I call it gold leaf, but you know what I mean. So I'm going to do this and just put that all over that like that. Whoops. I can't figure out why. I know why I'm, my camera's like this. So, see? Look at that. It looks like a mess, but... Give me a second, and be careful because you will get it all over. If you think glitter is bad, <laughs> I think this is worse, okay? So you just take your sponge and kind of rub it around. I missed a spot here. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put that right on there. You could, you could lay a piece right on there that you missed. That's another way if you don't want to, you could take it a piece at a time and put it in place. But there's just enough roughness, for lack of a better word, with the sponge to kind of to get it off. So, I'll pull a little bit off my sponge here. I think if you had to be real exact, this is good. I don't know that I would normally do it like this. But you know, if there's a spot you missed and you want to make sure you get it on there, put it on there, just rub it down. And I don't think it has to be perfect to get the effect we're looking for. There we go. I guess this is only the second time I've used this. I used it on that other one a little earlier today. Ah, let me put just a little bit more right up here on these flower edges here. So, see, I'm just going to take the sponge. There we go. I think that looks pretty good. Like I said, it doesn't have to be exact, I don't think. And then I, I say that, and then I go back, don't I? <laughs> How often do you do that? There we are. Okay, and then I'm gonna use my punch and punch it out. And we will put this all together. Oh, where's my punch at? Here it is. Get 
this in here. Look at that. Pinched my hand a little bit. That hurts. I'm going to put it down. Okay, there you are. There we are. You know, I got a little piece on the end of that. Let me see if I can get that. That no, looks like I'm, maybe I didn't get heat and stick powder on there. So there we are. So I'm going to put this together like that. I think, though, I'm going to use a glue dot because I don't know how well glue holds on top of the... Um, gilding. So I'm going to put a glue dot, a couple glue dots right down here in the center like this. To hold that on there. Like I said. Okay. Ooh, look at that. Isn't that pretty? See, every card's got to have a little bit of bling to it. Oh, wait a minute here. You know, there's some days I just should not stamp. There we go. There we go. Now those are together. Good. I'm going to attach those together. Put a little bit of glue on this. Put that together like that. Oh, I better use a couple glue dots on that too. Again, this is different than my original, so I, I there we go. Put that right on top there in the center. There we go. That's pretty. Giving it a little bit of a curve up. Okay, where's my card at? Here we go. Put that on there with a couple of dimensionals. You know what I think I'm going to do is use some half dimensionals on either side of that ribbon to where are they at? Where are my dimensionals at? I know. They, okay. So I'm not sure how well the dimensionals will hold to the um, ribbon, but I will put part of them in the center too, so just in case. There we go, like that. And here we go. Okay. Two and three. Put that right there. And there we go. We have this is a, a, a Z fold. I think this is called a Z fold card. I'm not so sure. This one's with a lit, lot of bling. This one's just got a little bit of sparkle on it. But either way, both great cards. And I used um, that new stamp set called Happy Thoughts for the inside. So don't forget, celebration starts. I think it's on the 5th. Yeah, it's on the 5th. The end of season closeout ends the, on the 4th. Um, a lot of great products that are on discounted prices, so don't miss those. My host code is only good for a couple more days, so don't miss out on that. Remember, if you order $50 before shipping and tax and use this host code, I'll send you a gift. I'd love to send you one as a thank you. So, anyway, I want to thank you for joining me tonight. And I will see you next Monday night at 8 o'clock Eastern for Stamping with Denise. Take care now. Bye-bye, everybody.